So you reach level 40 in the Black Ops 4 multiplayer beta and you finally got that permanent unlock that you will be officially getting once the game releases October the 12th. And if you haven't reached level 40, uh... <laughs> RIP you. But from the Black Ops 4 multiplayer beta, it looks like that is all what we'll be getting for multiplayer. And you can use that one permanent unlock for anything in the multiplayer. It can be an equipment, it can be a perk, it can be a wild card, it can be a secondary, a primary, just anything you will love once the game officially releases. And most of you people are wondering, what should I use my permanent unlock on? Now, while playing the beta, I hope this doesn't change, but it most likely will. But from playing the beta, there are certain guns that were really good, and I mean so good, that they, that they were honestly used by everybody in every lobby. But there is one gun, one gun, gun that nobody used so often which was an amazing gun it was a combination of all your favorite guns in black ops 4 but better so my name is nick and without further ado let's get right into the video and tell you guys what you should use your permanent unlock on once the official game of black ops 4 releases <laughs> I know the first gun you guys are planning on using this permanent unlock on is the Maddox RFB, which was the last gun you unlocked in the beta, and it was a really good gun, don't get me wrong. That assault rifle was honestly probably one of the best assault rifles in the game, but there was another assault rifle in there that was pretty good, and that was the Vapor XKG, and that really competed with the Maddox. If you put rapid fire on the Vapor, you basically can dominate, because the Vapor had such a high damage rate that you basically didn't have a chance to shoot this person. And for some machine guns, a lot of people love the Spitfire and the Cordite. The Cordite was a really low recoil, high damage using gun. The Spitfire was a high recoil but fast fire rate gun. But there were some people that also used the MX-9, but it was nerfed from the first beta weekend because supposedly the MX-9 was like a god gun. And then for tactical rifles, I saw a lot of people using the ABR-223, a AUG lookalike from Black Ops 1. And don't get me wrong, this gun was amazing and it melted people in literally its first three shots, possibly even two sometimes. And with LMGs, I really didn't like the Titan so much, but we'll just we'll just skip that right there. Now for snipers, you obviously had the two main snipers, the Paladin and the Koshka, and everybody gravitated towards the Koshka because it was similar to a Ballista, but then people who liked the Paladin, it was similar to a DSR, so it's all your take on there. Now I'm going to dodge secondaries, equipments, wildcards, and all that to make the video a little bit shorter but there was one gun out of all those categories that was majorly slept on that i actually never even saw once used in the beta from my experience and that was the sog 9 millimeter that was a really good gun to use once i got it i wanted to try it out to see why nobody's using this gun and i tried it out and it's honestly one of the best guns you guys should honestly get it's something that a permanent unlock token should be used for a the damage is really good for a submachine gun and b the recoil is not even there you honestly do not feel the recoil even though you can't even equip the grip so there's no point of even using that grip if you're able to for this gun also the fire rate is so fast it's kind of like the spitfire's fire rate but more damage so you have that high damage that high fire rate and that low recoil all in one and a lot of people slept on this gun and i honestly have clips of me just destroying with this gun Contesting Bravo. Wasted talk. Black Ops are taking me. Tango down. <laughs> Enemy down. Hey. So I honestly think you guys should use your permanent unlock on the 9mm. Whether you are going for camo challenges or whatnot, this gun is super easy to get headshots on if the camo challenges revolve around headshots. And it's super easy to get double kills, triple kills, quad feeds, anything like that that revolves a kill chain needed to get a camo done. This is an all-purpose submachine gun that's good for anything really, and it's amazing how good this gun is at close and medium ranges revolving around any situation if you don't believe me just use your permanent unlock token on the gun and try it out it doesn't hurt to try it out it's a really good gun and i promise you guys you're not going to be disappointed or you could possibly level up your way to the gun and get it and try it out from there but other than that i wouldn't go the easy route and use really cheap guns because that that's not a good thing to do guys.